Hey guys and welcome to Cadiz. We have finally made it to the town of Cadiz and wow, so far it is absolutely amazing. The drive into the town over the bridge is unbelievable. We are surrounded by aquamarine seas, bright yellow sand and we cannot wait to see what this town has an offer for us. So stay tuned and follow us along. We have found this amazing car park in the center of the town and it's perfect no matter how high your camper is. It's one euros and twenties per hour. So that's not bad for a really big town like this. Well lads, first impressions of Cadiz, it's way bigger than we thought it was going to be. We got a great car space, but driving into the city was something that we haven't done in a long, long, long time. We're used to rural Spanish towns, so it was a bit tricky with all the traffic lights and all everyone running around. It's so much busier in terms of people than we've seen in probably about five or six months. So we're a little bit kind of on edge. We have the kind of COVID fears, the whoo, you know, waiting for people to walk by and stuff like that. We have to say we're so impressed. It's kind of like a mix between Miami and New York in Spain, if that makes any sense. We're gonna hopefully show you why we think that, but we've just started walking around. There's an amazing beach behind us. We've recorded a little bit. There's a great pull-up park over there. I just tried to do some work out there, but we did one earlier, so I'm a little bit tired. Anyway, we're gonna have a look for a castle now. It's just right behind me. I'm gonna see if I can show you, and then we're gonna keep walking around all the edge of the sea. I think there's a couple of gardens and stuff like that and then we're gonna go into the middle of the town hopefully find something to eat and a coffee and then just show you the rest of it so stay tuned This, my friends, is the Castillo de San Sebastian. There's also another castle that's right beside it, and it's called Castillo de Santa Catalina. Now, it's really impressive to walk around these grounds, and we don't know exactly what's happened here throughout the years. Obviously, they have some sort of significance. We may have a look at it later on, but one thing that we have to point out is how people will get up and down these stairs the whole time. They're so steep and rickety, but it may just be because I'm hungry but it looks like they're made out of cornflakes. So next on our list, guys, is Park Genoa. Um, Genoves. What? Genoves. Is Park Genoves. I don't know much about this place yet. Dean was the one who looked everything up in TripAdvisor, so the best thing would be to just show you when we get there. So guys, we've made it to the park and so far it's beautiful. There's over a hundred types of different trees here and some of them are over a hundred years old. So we're going to show you what we see and just how nice this place is. The park is right at the edge of the coast and the place is so windy and breezy and it's keeping us nice and cool. It is so warm out today. Lads, we are inside this 
cool little cave. It's way bigger than we thought it was going to be from the outside and it's like something out of Jurassic Park. Well guys, that little tapas was absolutely delicious. The two coffees and the Russian salad and the little bread bits came to five euro. So it's pretty cheap, very good. So now we are going to mosey on around the town, go into the town, away from the coast and see what's here. I've absolutely no idea what's in this place. So I'm very excited. Goodbye. Lads, this is the biggest tree I've ever seen in my whole life. It is like Grandmother Willow from Pocahontas, but a million times better. Yes, it doesn't talk, but wow, it's massive! So guys, we're in the middle of Cadiz town and they are filming some movie here, we're not sure, but it's like a 1920s or Gangsters of New York movie and there's so many cars and oh, it's all very exciting. So we're trying to see as much as we can, but the police are starting to move everybody away. But very exciting. It very much kid is. What is the scene? It kid is. Kid is. Oh, hang on, look in this in the tree there. There's a little Lego character. Hang on. And in totally unforeseen random events, there is a Lego tree person there. Lads, if you lived in any one of these apartments here, your balcony, you could literally throw your neighbour over a slice of toast if you really wanted to. Up there, look at them. We are outside the famous food market in Cadiz. Dean was so excited to see this place, but unfortunately, it's closed. We don't know, is it because it's late in the day? Or is it closed because of COVID? I don't know, but sorry, not happening today. No bueno. No bueno. Cerrado. Cerrado. That just scared the absolute life out of me. <laughs> I was recording the side of that church bell and it's just up there and all of a sudden it shook my core. Anyway, the market has been closed, some cathedrals, this cathedral has been closed, the door of it is there it would have been amazing to get there but oh well now we're gonna go for coffee number two which is gonna perk us up a little bit because we've walked a lot today and it's really warm and then maybe a Roman theater but look let's get a coffee first <laughs> Well lads, right behind me is the Roman Theatre. 
Unfortunately, like nearly everything that's happened today, it's closed. I think we're about 40 minutes too late. It is open with COVID, it's just we came too late in the day. But you can see it right behind me and I have a couple of shots there. But it looks amazing. We have to look up what the history is behind all this, but I'm not too sure. But I know that it is crazy. And one of the big things is, there's apartment blocks right here. Like that's, that's someone's bedroom, which is kind of weird. But anyway, we won't stay here too long because they might look at us funny. But yeah, we're having a great day here and there's just so much to see in Cadiz. I think we could do like three or four days here, but we've only got a couple of hours, so we're trying to fit it all in. Well guys, that's the end of our tour of Cadiz. We are finally back now in our lovely parking spot in the van and we are absolutely wrecked. So thank you so, so much for watching. We really hope you like it. If you did, please like and share and consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks guys, and we'll see you in the next video.